Hey everybody, Jeff from Show It here. Today I'm going to show you how to turn any menu into a quick and easy drop down menu in Show It. I'm using our simple design and we have this header option that has our different menu navigation options. So we're going to take this and turn it into a drop down menu. So I'll click in to edit my site canvas here. Now the way it's going to show you in the written instructions down below this video is you simply add two canvas views. Number one is default, so it's going to show up just as is, and all of these pieces of content that are outside the views will always live on the parent canvas no matter what's in the view. In view two, you would simply just add a rectangle, and that is what you would use to make your drop down menu. So if I wanted to add gallery options, I'd add my rectangle here, and now you'll see in view one that's gone, and in view two that shows up. This is one way of doing it, and it's totally fine, but there's a way that's a little bit better, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that one now. So instead of having everything on the parent canvas, I actually like to put all of my canvas content into view one, and I'll tell you why this is a little bit better as we go along. And then I simply duplicate this view. Now the reason this is a little bit better is because you now have essentially two fully separate menus in these canvas views. So on number one, on the gallery link, I would come in here and set the click action instead to canvas, this canvas next. And so now when I click on gallery, it's gonna open up view two, which is going to contain my drop down. So I'm gonna come in here, grab a rectangle, change it to the style that I want. I'm just gonna go with simple white in this case and then size it accordingly here on my second view. So I'll size it up maybe like this, a little bit wider right there. Okay, so now I've got that piece size. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my different gallery types. Okay, so here I've got wedding, engagement, and family, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and add to my gallery dropdown. So I'm just gonna hold Command here and select all three of those options, as well as my dropdown item here. I wanna make sure they're all centered on each other just like that, and then we want to make sure, select just these three, that the distribution, we have them evenly spaced there. So now we've got that laid out, and we've got our dropdown menu here. So again, the reason I had you do two canvas views, both containing the full content of your header here, is because now we can separately set a click action on the gallery setting here. So if somebody clicks it initially, which again is going to trigger that view two to the next canvas view, now, if they choose not to click one of these actions, you can actually set an action here to go canvas, this canvas, previous. So if they click gallery again, it would go back to the view without the dropdown. Now the user might not know how to do that, but I find that it's just a little bit cleaner user experience if they do indeed choose not to engage with one of the options on your dropdown. Your dropdown is ready, it's created, so now all we have to do is link up our dropdowns. So in this case, if I had pages for my different galleries, I would link them up here. All right, last but not least, you'll notice here if I select my different options in the menu and go to size and position, they're locked to the right, so I need to make sure that all of the elements in my dropdown are also. So I'll come in here and lock the rectangle and each of my dropdown options to the right so that everything stays in line in the design. And now I'm gonna go ahead and preview this. And now if I click gallery, it's gonna give me my nice dropdown. If I click it again, it's gonna go away. And if I chose one of my options, it would scroll to that option. Now one really important item, you'll notice here as I scroll, if I've not interacted with this dropdown menu, it doesn't go away. So we need to change that. What we're gonna do is come in here, go back to our home page. So to make our gallery dropdown hide away, we need some sort of trigger canvas and we'll use a scroll action to trigger that action. Now, I don't want to use my header itself because I have a sticky to top header. So it's never going to go off the page to make this action happen. Now I could use this hero canvas, but it's rather large. So instead I'm just gonna set up a blank canvas and call it trigger here. And I'm gonna move that right under my header canvas here and shrink it down to, 
about two pixels just like that. So now I've got this perfectly kind of hidden canvas that's gonna blend in with everything that's very small. So now on this small canvas is where I'm going to set my scroll action to make sure that my drop down menu hides away. So I'm gonna click scroll actions, click add an action here, and then off screen, I want this to trigger an action. Change canvas views for my header canvas and back to view one, which is our default view. You do not wanna click trigger once in this instance because you want this to work anytime that menu is called up. So now I'm gonna click out of that, let it save there. And if we preview this now, you'll see a different effect. So I have my gallery, there I am. Now I scroll down to look through the rest of the site and that hides right back away just like that. So it's super simple to convert any header navigation and add a drop down menu and show it. You can even do the same on your mobile version. All I would do is come in here to my navigation menu and do the exact same thing. I'm simply gonna add a canvas view here, drag all of my content into that canvas view, duplicate that canvas view, and then on the second version, let's say again I want it to be the gallery, I'm going to space these bottom items down so that I can fit my gallery options in there, and then I can do something uh, really simple here, just come in and do something like this. All right, so I've got my options all set up now. I'm just gonna go back to view one and do exactly like I did on the desktop version. I'm gonna choose this gallery option. I'm gonna come in here and change my click action to canvas, this canvas, view two. And I also wanna remove this add action from this specific option so that it doesn't hide the menu away as soon as I click gallery here. So I'll remove this action and I would need to do the same here. So I'll need to make sure to link these to the area that I want, and I'll need to add the action, hide site canvas, this site canvas, so that if a user on my website were to click on this wedding gallery option, it would navigate to that area with the click link here that would be set, and then this add action would go ahead and hide this canvas away. So we'll preview this, call up our mobile menu. If I click on gallery here, it gives me that expanded drop down view. So it's a very similar setup in both instances and all it takes is a little bit of manipulation of what's already there and a few clicks to add this functionality and setup to your show it site. I hope this video has been helpful as you continue to build out the site of your dreams and we cannot wait to see it launched. Until next time, happy creating.